Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we've got an adorable Grogu cookie jar to review for you, so stay tuned. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I think it was a few weeks ago I did a video about the items on the Bradford Exchange website. And one of those items was a cookie jar, but that's not the cookie jar I have today, guys. There was also a Hobby Lobby cookie jar that I talked about in that video. And yeah, it's not that one either, guys. But during that video, I said I really, really wanted a cuter, more cartoony cookie jar. So, yep, there is one now. I was on Box Lunch the other day, and I came across this adorable cookie jar, and I had to order it right away. I was like, yes, that, that is exactly what I'm looking for. So I ordered it, and it has arrived. We're going to take it out of the box and see if it's as cute as its picture, take an up-close look at its details, and of course, I will rate it on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. So, Fisher, I'm going to put you to the side so we can unbox this cookie jar. Are you good with that, little dude? Thank you, with that. All right, little man. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So, just to kind of go back and reference everything, guys, the Bradford Exchange cookie jar is this one right here. And that one's a little pricey. It's about $130. And, you know, it's just a concept picture of it. I have not seen that cookie jar in person and I'm still just on the fence it's just it's not really really super cute at least in my eyes so I kind of held off on that one and then there's the Hobby Lobby cookie jar this one right here guys also adorable and kind of a Grogu likeness but I still didn't think it was that that cute so yeah, I had said I really, really want a cartoony looking cookie jar, and I showed you that one from Box Lunch. Well, it's here, guys. It's in the box, and we're going to take it out and take a look at it. I just wanted to show you guys first, it does not come in its own, like, Grogu-themed box. It's just this plain brown box, and then it's styrofoam inside. But yeah, let's get this baby out of here and see what he looks like. Well, guys, he comes in the box separated yep mama's got a baby and its head popped off but it's a pretty good size as you can see but look at this cute little face guys how stinking adorable is that and then it's just got his body with his coat on there is a rubber seal around the head of the cookie jar so that when it's together it does have an airtight seal but yeah, let's put him together. I haven't put him together yet, guys, so let's see how easy he goes together. Gotta kind of push, get that seal to connect. Yep, there we go. So he is connected all the way around so he can keep your cookies fresh, your little blue macarons. That's what I would put in there. That's what Grogu would put in there too. And once that's on there and sealed, how easy is the lid to get off, guys? Let's try it and see if I can do it without breaking it. Oh, he sticks on there pretty good, so I had to use a little bit of pressure to get the lid on and off of him. So, yeah, just be careful when doing that because he is very, very delicate and 100% ceramic, except for that little rubber ring. But, yeah, pushing him back on there. So there he is, all back together. But look at how stinking adorable this is, guys. Oh, and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's a good 10 to 12 inches tall, and then he's really wide across with his ears. Of course, he is made out of ceramic, and it does say hand wash only, but it is a Star Wars licensed product. And yes, just very delicate and very cute. He's not going to go in my kitchen. He will go somewhere here in the studio. Yes, I'm still working on the studio, guys. You know, working full time and doing all these videos just leaves you with really little free time. And you don't realize that until you want to do some things. But back to this cookie jar here. What do you guys think of him? I think he is super, super adorbs. 
Now, price comparison to the other two, I mentioned the Bradford Exchange ones about $130. The Hobby Lobby ones about $80, but there's usually 40 to 50% off of that, depending on which sale that you get. Well, this little guy here is on Box Lunch. His retail is $59.90. And I got them on sale for 30% off because Box Lunch runs sales all the time. I think currently, as of the filming of this video, there was no sale or coupons going on, except for I think they had a buy two, get one free, and I'm not sure if this was part of that or not. So if you want to grab this, you might want to wait till their next sale. But with 30% off, he was about $42.00. So from 60 to 42, that was a really good savings on him, and I just couldn't resist. This is exactly, exactly what I was looking for, guys, and I'm so glad. I, I know the powers that be didn't hear me and say, poof, let's make it. This was already made and probably ready to be put on the website, but yeah, they, they knew people would want something a little cute and different for their kitchen. <laughs> He's so cute, guys. I just, I just want to keep playing with him. He's adorable! I love him! So, of course, rating him on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. He's a beyond totally rad, guys. How, I mean, how cute. I just, I can't, I can't get enough of this face. Look at the face! I love it! So, yes, definitely a beyond totally rad to me. He's a very thick ceramic, but of course, if he was dropped, he would break, so you'd have to be super, super careful with him. His paint job is done very well. There are no chips in him yet. I, speaking of chips, I guess I gotta keep chip away from him, right, guys? Because we don't want any chips in the cookie jar unless they are chocolate chips. But, Yes, really super cute and adorable. I, again, what do you guys think of them? Let me know in the comments below. I just, uh, yeah, I, I need more stuff like this guy. We've got a cookie jar. Now let's get some other things. I know there's salt and pepper shakers that kind of match this out there. I might try to find them. There's actually a set that I saw on Amazon that I might have to grab just a review for you guys. If you want to see that salt and pepper shaker set, let me know in the comments below and I will put that a little bit higher on my list of things to grab. But yeah, in the meantime guys, thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, little dude? We'll see ya later.